All right, so uh, what's up everybody? It is Friday. I am in New York. I am in the middle of the woods of Woodstock and it's pretty awesome. It's nice and quiet. So I, uh, last night was Ern's like pre-party or whatever for his wedding. So we went to the party and I got back pretty late. And uh, some people are hung over. I'm not one of those people, but I am pretty tired. Today it's like basically just like buttoning up stuff. I have to finish writing this speech still. I have a rehearsal here in a little bit. So um, this is really crazy. There's a lot going on. So just trying to give you guys updates as much as I can, as much as I can upload uh, during the craziness. But I do have a minute while I have writer's block. So I wanted to show you the cabin. It has a blue door, which is cool. But this cabin I'm staying in, which has hosted many writers, artists, musicians, but apparently Wag the Dog was written in here. I don't know what Wag the Dog is, but it was written in here. And some Disney characters were made in here and all kinds of different things. So there is this really one cool piece of art, which is like a movie storyboard. That thing's pretty cool. All these books, book collection. Most of the books are uh, about war or cops. I don't know, it's the book, the book selection is a little crazy, but it is cool vibe at least. Um, yeah, the lab is in there, though, so that's cool. Yeah, and then the guy who, I guess, placed this is, he has all these books. Larry Beinhardt is his name. That's who owns this cabin, I guess, and has written some books in here. So, I don't know. Picked up the Versace for the wedding. So, we got the robe on deck for the wedding. I'm probably going to match it with the black for reals. And then the only shoes I really brought, I got, uh... Woodwoods on, white Yeezys. Soul boxes. Bah, 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 bah. Let's see. Yeah, I got my quaint little kitchen in here. You know what I'm saying? My quaint little stove. My quaint little shelves. And then, come into this quaint little bathroom. I don't need to fan. You got this bathroom, right? Just a nice little bathroom until, boom! Futuristic steam shower sun. And then I got me a Mary. Watching out. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the plot. That's the spot. So, nice little cabin. It's crazy quiet out here. Ern's gonna come stay tonight because he can't be with the bride. So, we got Ern's little chateau right there. Oh, you're gonna be back tonight. I was gonna say yeah. this is the last time we'll see you as a free man, but it's not true. No. Because you're coming back with me tonight. And we don't even know if this we could bounce out tonight, airport. If you don't show up at the altar, we'll put where we are yeah. in America. We'll put the latitude and longitude, and then she'll have to come find you. Yes. And then we'll have a secret wedding there. And everyone else will disown me forever. Yeah. I was lit. You were lit last Fucked night. Fucked up. Ready for rehearsal? You wearing the robe to rehearsal, dog? No. Uh, got my books open. <laughs> oh, shit. Son, the speech is for me. Yeah, you leave me in a writer's cottage. I just started writing. The retreat. The retreat. Here we go. We're retreating to Kerhonkson. The rustic ridge. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got games, son, dolphin fries. I said the same thing. <laughs> they're, they're horse jumps. We should light that white oh, stuff on Brad fire. Hi, <laughs> horse. We are at rehearsals. The yeah. girls are gonna be down here. Mm -hmm. They're gonna walk. Brandy's gonna come up over the hill. Gotcha. Everyone's gonna see her. She's gonna walk down. <clears throat> He's just gonna hit us. <laughs> it's like I'm in Lord of the Fuck Rings right now, dog. Yeah. Damn, it is a long walk for Brandy. Yeah, you better hope she don't trip. In the world. Yeah, this little speaker. Check, check, check. Hey, check. Yeah. Check, 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 check. Not right now. You know what? This it's is, natural. This isn't your dream, right? No. Now? Okay. <laughs> I kind of wanted my boobs in it. Uh, okay, fire. Yeah, we'll get it. Going. Yeah, get it. So I tried to do a vlog yesterday, but I couldn't because rehearsal went and dinner went to like 1 a.m. Now we're at the morning before, where it's like almost 10 a.m. You get married at what? Three? Four? Four. The shirt still. Wrote your vows last night. Yep. Gotta get these shirts. The right vow here. book is still empty. Still empty vow book right now. We're four hours out, but they're in his phone. <laughs> or now they're in your computer. Yeah. Hopefully we don't have any hard drive issues. Out of the cottage, up to the middle of nowhere. 
<laughs> to more no and then to the wedding Ugh. and then to the airport DJ Esco I'm rocking after the white easy Ern's uh, wedding has been mixed by DJ Esco this is unreal hey there's the top I found the top while I was looking for my phone but Oh boy. Ern has some words for Jaguar. Says the Jaguar your design does not allow for a phone drop. <laughs> it does it. It's somewhat this is crazy. somewhat unforgivable. <laughs> <laughs> it's my man's wedding day and he's out here taking the phone out. <laughs> Shit, my phone just fell. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm gonna. It's gonna chop my fingers off. Mm -hmm. You're never gonna get it, Teddy. I got it. You got it. I got. It. I got my hand on it, but I can't get my hand out. You wanna hit the blunt? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no! 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 <laughs> Shit! <laughs> oh my god! I Mine's still stuck. I can still grab it. I can't. Okay, I got my. <laughs> there you go. Nice. <laughs> so we need to get to your wedding. All right. All right. The well, good news is we're picking up the photographer, and she's rolling out with us. She has no idea what she's in for. <laughs> Today's seatbelt brought to you by eHarmony. Because when you have someone you love, it's time to strap up. You gotta strap them down. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Everything was awesome. We we cleaned up. There's a few pizza boxes on the table. <laughs> yeah, that's how we roll. At least a few. Yeah, it's our jag. Hey. Hey vlog. Yeah. One more hunk. We're going to Men's Warehouse to get this shirt, and then we're going to Jake's, and then we're rolling blunts on blunt. And I'm re and I gotta finish writing these vows into the piece of paper. Oh god. This point, um, Holly, if yes. you feel like the driving is not up to par, please. I have heard. Please let us know. You got like five, less than five hours before your wedding, and we're sitting outside of a men's warehouse waiting on them to open so you can get a shirt to wear. <laughs> I can't really talk shit about you being unprepared because I'm wearing a Versace robe, but <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. Uh, we're still on schedule as long as I'm to my sister's by noon. So we, we got be. 40 minutes. We won't be there by noon. You, you never seen me drive this Jag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, be scared. I just saw it. It's your first time wearing boost? Yeah. That's amazing. It feels like pillows. On behalf of Erd and Brandy, the Falconer and Schultz family, I would like to welcome everyone here today. My name is Father Teddy. Thank you. I'm a newly ordained minister when asked by my two very good friends here to officiate this wedding. When I asked them what they wanted in their wedding ceremony, they both said I could do whatever I want. <laughs> so hold on. <laughs> the party has already started, Ern. <laughs> the truth of the matter is I'm honored and humbled to be here to celebrate this special day with them and all of you. The people who were carefully picked to be here today to celebrate this glorious occasion. So without further ado, dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to celebrate the joining of these two amazing souls and their awesome families. There are 7.5 billion people on Earth, 300 million people in the U.S., and in New York alone there's 8.5 million people wandering around aimlessly, all of us which at one point or another set out on the painstaking quest to find that one person who is going to make us feel what almost every movie that we've ever seen is based on in some way, shape, or form. And of course, that thing is love. Not any love, but the one out of seven and a half billion I just met this stranger. Now I can't imagine life without this person. Okay, nobody else really matters but you. You're the yin to my yang. I need you. Oh my God, you complete me. How did this happen? Love. <laughs> you okay? 
Yeah. You okay? <laughs> <laughs> this is the stuff that dreams and Facebook memes are made of, and we're living in it right now. Perhaps the most coveted achievement one can have during the human experience is finding someone who truly loves and supports you in your decisions, no matter how temporarily insane or annoying you can be when you have no moral or legal obligation to. On the search for love, most people will discover many things. One, it's a crazy world out there. Two, when you're looking for love, you will not find it, and when it does find you, you will undoubtedly feel like you're not ready as you are swept into a storm of romance. The frustrations of life, other people, and self-imposed pressure disappear from our minds in these rare moments when, we, when that one in a million person crosses our path, completely captivating our mind, body, and soul. You forget about work, your friends, previous plans are canceled, you're late a lot, there's a race against time, and a tunnel vision that takes over your mind as the only thing you can think about is consuming as much of this person and these feelings as you possibly can into making them a part of you. I know all this to be true because this behavior I'm describing is best suited to my friend Ernest and how he acted the moment he laid eyes on Brandy. <laughs> it's very hot. I'm wearing a towel though, so I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> Even though neither of them can accurately recall how and when they met, I have been blessed with many talents. One of them happens to be a great memory. Ern and I were working together in the same location when I tattooed Brandy, and even though it was only for a moment, that was the first time their paths crossed. So technically, I introduced you. <laughs> you owe me. Once the door shut from Brandy leaving, the next thing we heard was, who's that? Needless to say, Ern got to work immediately. <laughs> After some late night chats, a little suave, persistent, a first date was planned, and although the first date was maybe a little crazy, cut short, interrupted unexpectedly, it was only to set the tone and energy for what we now know was the beginning of this story of true romance. After some time, Ernie's smooth words, frequent pizza shop visits, lavish trips where no expense was spared, to elite establishments such as the Hard Rock Cafe in Times Square. <laughs> this is when Ern began to sleep the young, beautiful, and wildly free-spirited Brandy, who could often be witnessed stuffing herself inside any cubby hole or crevice she could find right off her feet. She quickly realized she had found a very unique, thoughtful, and motivating man, and that she no longer needed to kiss any more toads. Her search was over. She finally found her Prince Charming. As these two incredibly genuine, talented, and self-driven individuals began to rise in love, and I'm saying rise in love because falling is rarely this much fun, these two incredibly genuine, talented, driven individuals began to build this life together. They have continued to discover, push, challenge, teach, and inspire one another to strive to be the greatest versions of themselves while enjoying some of the most amazing experiences life has to offer and exploring the world together. Good breath. Scythe. As this love for adventure and one another has blossomed over the last six years, so have the foundations of trust through experience and countless unforgettable memories. Moments in time that have been created and shared by you two and you two alone, and of course there's been a disagreement here and there that may or may have not led to one or both parties saying something they didn't mean. But I'm here to tell you, as of today, the day you're getting married, all of the arguing can now be over. You're done. <laughs> See, as of today, Brandy, Ern's perceived questionable driving, loud sneezing, man grossness, crazy toenails, sharp tone, and wild overreactions will no longer bother you the way they did before. <laughs> Ern, Brandy's mood swings, perceived nagging, inability to decide where to eat, offensiveness, and social media scrolling when you picked an awful movie to watch will no longer bother you. Because after this day, beautiful day, in this countryside together, Tomorrow and every day after that, you'll have this memory of this time at your wedding. The music, the flowers, your family, your friends, Brandy, your beautiful white dress, Ern looking handsome in the clothes Brandy picked out for you, <laughs> loved ones who have traveled great distances, the careful planning down to every single detail, the beautiful bridesmaids, I'm not complimenting you guys, uh, this setting all above the overwhelming feeling of excitement, passion and desire that you two both feel for one another is not only witnessed and documented, but is also being celebrated. 
I mean, there's horses running around. <laughs> this is beautiful. The two of you standing here today is the proof that any and all disagreements or miscommunications you may have had while building this love nest have been insignificant, are in the past and only serve as discoveries about the inner workings of one another and that you now possess the wisdom and insight to know what the other needs. Even though there will be moments where you will be fully entitled to say something about the other's dirty dishes in the sink, old clothes in the bathroom, or who walked the dogs last, the, la the desire to help one another get through each day with the same burning passion that brought us all here and that you feel now will be your new focus. Oftentimes at weddings you hear ministers say things such as, there will be good times and bad times, highs and lows, plenty of highs that we're talking about earning. <laughs> they all say marriage isn't easy. It takes work to make it work. And other warnings of tough and windy road that you have ahead of you as a couple. But I prefer to think you've already learned that. You've already had the bad times. Enjoying highs and lows together are how you got here. Your work together has made this work, and the road ahead of you is paved with excitement, love, and fulfillment beyond your wildest dreams, if you stick together. Because the road you traveled here is what laid the foundations of your future with and for one another. As these moments pass today and lead into the future, you will forever be able to travel here back to this moment where you have been staring at each other for a long time. <laughs> This moment is here to serve as a monument for your love and how far you've come not only as people, but as a couple. Two out of seven and a half billion people. And the truth is, not much has really changed after today for the two of you. We are simply here to celebrate that Brandy is not just another person and Ern is not just another person, but you are the love of each other's lives. So I just need to ask you both a question and then we can all start drinking. Do you, Brandy, take Ern to be your man, your boo thing, your babe, that you promise to love, comfort, honor him even when he's sick, when he's healthy, after his body gives out, and to remain faithful to him as long as you shall live. I do. Do you earn, take Brandy Bear as your blazing hottie, angel muffin, little petunia, that you will promise to love, comfort, honor her in sickness and in health, and remain faithful, her, faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife, you may now kiss your blazing hottie. <laughs> It's my great honor and privilege to be the first to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Ernest Falconer. So, I typed the text to a girl I used to see saying that I chose this cutie pie with me and I want to be. And I apologize if this message gets you down. But then I cc'd every girl that I cc downtown. And quick to see y'all found, but I'd rather see her smiling. It's all around me, true. But I'm no island peninsula, maybe. Makes no sense. I'm no crazy. Give up all this cat that's in my lap. No looking back. Spaceships don't come equipped with rear view mirrors. They dip as quick as they can. The atmosphere is now lit. Uh, so the uh, wedding is over. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning. I just got to this crazy <laughs> hotel in Albany. Uh, I got exactly one, two, three, four. Let's see, it's one, two. I got like three and a half hours to get some. So I'm gonna get some sleep, and then I gotta hit the airport and head to Vegas. 6 a.m. flight. So uh, yeah, I'm exhausted. Beautiful wedding. Aaron Brandy killed it. Great time. I'm just exhausted. I've had no time to edit, so this vlog is probably a few days all crammed into one. That's just the way it goes. So, all right, good night.